This video discusses several of Epigee's 5.1 software features, including hot desking, streaming hold music, call detail reporting, and click to dial. The Epigee IPPBX portfolio is, is covers most of the SMB and up to small enterprise customers. Now, in the in the past, I would have I would have said that a, a small enterprise install may have required some some more advanced features, and those are the kinds of features that we've added into this latest release. So I think a lot of folks here would be uh, excited to hear about some of these new additions. But you look at you know, your small remote office, home office uh, situation, the Quadro 2X, up to 16 IP phones. As you move through, you'll see variations of analog to IP phone capacities, and then all the way at the bottom, you'll see um, the Quadro M32X which is the larger product. Hot desking. Uh, what we're looking at here is, let's say you've got a customer that has you know, a few people that are always in the office, but a large percentage of their workforce is remote, mobile. They don't really have an office, but they like to come into the office every now and then and use a community uh, cubicle or something like that. So what you can do is set up extensions, voicemail, all that for those people that may have a phone on their laptop or even at home as a remote telephone, and they can come into the office and just log in to a phone at that desk over there, and they can view, uh, basically just take over their extension, and they you can use it as, as, the, as it is their extension right there on that desk. So it, it helps simplify sharing of office space, mobile users can come in and now have a presence in the office if they come in a few times a week. This is starting to become a little more common with a lot of a lot of our customers out there. You know, instead of having 15 people in the office every day, they've asked some people, hey, just work from home half the week. Uh, they can make the office a bit smaller, cuts out some of the expenses, but they're still getting um, you know, the full 100% out of those employees and not having to have them uh, and have an office for each and every one of them. And to log in, all you require is your extension and password, so it's pretty simple to log in and out of those phones. And this will be available on all the, the Quadro uh, IP PBXs. Another feature that came up just by request, really, is the hold music. Now, in the, in the past, you've, well, I guess currently as well, you have to upload a file to the Quadro, and that is your hold music. Well, the limitation on that and also putting those files on the Quadro will, will consume some of the memory used for other functions like voicemail storing and call recording, for example. So we added a, another feature where you could host on an external PC um, an application that we provide. It's free. And you can queue up some MP3s or you know, what, an audio stream of the Internet and feed that into the, into the Quadro as the hold music. This is good for customers that want to do promotions, quickly quickly change promotions uh, on their hold music, or you're dealing with customers that are music studios and they want to stream some of the latest uh, music uh, to on their hold music. All those are very common situations. If you really want to get creative, um, you can stream multiple uh, sessions from that PC, and it can be for individual extensions. So. Theoretically, you could have a unique hold music for every extension if, if the customer chose to do that. The call detail reporting, now that's always been there, but we're, we're constantly working to either bring on third-party partners to uh, use their software, take our CDR details, and put it into a nice reporting and billing method. So we've done some enhancements there, either to export it directly to the end customers, uh, I guess database or anybody that wants to collect that information, we can send it via email, FTP, TFTP, and we can dump that data somewhere wherever the customer likes, and then they can manipulate it as they feel free. Uh, what some of our customers have done is they will have something like crystal reports or whatever it might be running, and we just dump the CDR details in a folder they've predefined, and they have a script that goes in and just pulls that data periodically updates the database so they can just view that easily within their network and their existing infrastructure and uh, be able to view those details. Click to dial is, is a nice feature. It's usually coupled with 
a call center or support support team. What it basically is is if you've, you've ever been to a website that says something like click here to talk to somebody now or you know reach somebody live, all they're really doing is taking the information you enter, which is normally an email address or an telephone number, and calling out to you when the next available agent is ready. So what the click to dial uh, feature allows you to do is, is build some script into uh, the end customer's website where their customer can come in and say, hey, I need to talk to sales or support. Just pop in their telephone number and basically click, click the link. And then that number is sent back to the Quadro, and a call is initiated from the Quadro to that number. And it basically sets up a call between two parties, whether it be an individual person and the person who entered their telephone number, or an agent group, or a queue, whatever it might be. But it sets up a, uh, a phone call between two parties. So a nice little feature to further enhance um, one of your end customers' day-to-day uh, -day business or website. It gives them a little edge. Now, this is a feature that has been reserved in the past for the, the larger or more advanced uh, call center type designs or just basically uh, support situations.